All right, ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd let you join me today on a little project I'm doing. I'm gonna try and make a morel mushroom bed over by my shed here. It'll be on the north side of the shed because it gets some shade there. The soil stays moist. And I've got a little spot where there was a rug laying there. As you can see, I've already started. But uh, there's our morel spawn bag. You can see it's already got sclerotia forming in it. It's pretty awesome. It's uh, Marcella importuna or landscaping morel. So let's just get to it. I'm kind of roughing this up a little bit. And then I'm going to sprinkle the spawn over the top of it. And then I'm going to cover it with some wood mulch. Hopefully, maybe next spring, I'll have some more uh, mushrooms. If not, I'm really not out that much. Just a little bit of time and effort. Alright. Looks good enough for me. Alright. I think I'll break this up a little bit. Spread it out. From what I understand, uh, landscaping morels don't have to have a symbiotic relationship with the trees nearby. They can grow all on their own without trees. So hopefully, oh, it smells good. So hopefully this will work out. That's going to be just about right. I'd like to say I planned that, but sometimes things just work out. So we'll maybe spread it out a little bit. I shouldn't work that in a little bit. I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to work this in and then I'll come right back. All right. I've got that uh, spawn worked in there a little bit. So let's go grab some mulch. I think I might be able to find one or two bags. Some of my old mushroom bags that I throw out. I just set them out, and if they produce some more mushrooms, that's fine. If they don't, then they go out into the park, and I kind of use them as a, a compost or a, kind of a mulch. Throw 
a little mulch on top of that. Now I'll keep the moisture in. And I don't know, maybe it feeds off of the wood. I have no experience with morel mushrooms. This is my very first attempt at cultivating any morel mushroom ever. Maybe I'll have beginner's luck and next spring I'll have all kinds of them back here. bag sprinkle some wood ash on the top so let me go see if I can find some wood ash and I'll be back okay I've got a little bit of wood ash or at least charcoal it's not very much it's uh, what came out of my wood smoker so I'll try and sprinkle at least a little bit of this on top of here and I don't know I guess that's supposed to do something for him. Apparently, you find a lot of morels where there's been a burn off in the wild. And so there seems to be some kind of connection between charcoal and morels. So we'll see if this does any good. It won't do any harm anyway. Yeah, and as I get more out of my uh, smoker, I'll just add it to the top of that. And there we go. That's my landscaping morel mushroom bed. And of course, I'll keep you updated and uh, let you know how it turns out or if it doesn't turn out. So thank you for watching. And please subscribe and support my channel. It's just a quick update on my closet of uh, mushroom bags. They seem to be doing okay. Got one in the corner. And here is a Piapino bag. This is a Maitake AZ or Maitake Arizona bag. Here's another Shiitake 3782 that I spawned on, let's see, 411. Here's another Shiitake 3782 I spawned on 325. This Shiitake 3782 I spawned on 325. And here's my Morcella Angusticeps. That I spawned at the same time as my Morcella Importuna, but it doesn't seem to be doing as well. Or at least I've never done morel mushrooms, so I don't know. But it doesn't seem to be forming sclerotia like the Importuna did. It does have a few little white spots, but they don't look quite like sclerotia. So I put it in the closet. <clears throat> to get it into the dark. Maybe it'll do better if it's completely dark most of the time. And of course, I have a snowcap shiitake that I spawned on 210. And it's doing really well. So, that's just a little update of my mushrooms bags that I have in my closet. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe and support my channel.